welcome back. Next, we are going to make the tire for the Automo blocks. To do so, we're going to start with our standard IPT. And we are going to choose to sketch a couple of concentric circles. Now, the exact dimensions would be what you measured previously with your Automo blocks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some approximate measurements and I'm going to follow the ones that are in 55A. So you can see the larger circle here is going to have a diameter of 1.65. The smaller circle is going to have a dis difference of a distance of 0.1. And I need one more circle that's going to have a difference of distance of 0.03. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of lines extending from the center point. Off to both sides. And I'm going to dimension the angle by selecting the two lines and then changing that angle to four. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and trim what I don't need. So trim is my scissors here under the modify. So I trimmed away those three lines there the middle one up at the top and the rest of the circle. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude the area in between the top two, the big two circles. And I'm going to extrude that. Again, the actual distance will be what you guys measured when you use the calipers. So I'm going to extrude that roughly around a half of an inch. I'm going to make sure that that is a symmetric extrusion, meaning it is extruding equally on both sides. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you notice I didn't do anything with the little rib that I created, that little nub. In order to do something with that, you'll notice that the little nubs don't extend the whole way. So I'm going to expand my extrusion one by clicking on the plus sign, right click, sketch one, share sketch. And now I have an unconsumed sketch, a visible sketch in order to select that small little part. Again, it's going to be a symmetric extru extrusion but it's not going to go the whole way out. So I'm going to change my distance to 0.4. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to make my sketch invisible again so that it doesn't just deter you from seeing this. So you can see here I now have my little nub. Now I only have one of those, so I'm going to have to make more. To do that, I'm going to do my circular pattern. I'm going to select this as my feature. Then I'm going to select my circle as my rotation axes. I'm going to need 15 of them. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now I have all of my little nubs on there, but I'm still missing this little rib piece in the middle. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make sure to sketch on my mid plane. Now, if you didn't do symmetric extrusion the first time, what you want to do is create a mid plane 
between two parallel planes. So for those of you that are following along, you can actually choose your XY plane again as long as you've been doing symmetric extru extrusions the whole time. And you can sketch on that plane. And we're going to make a couple of circles. So these circles are going to represent our little rib. Now if you're one of the types that likes things to be exact, you can use project geometry and match from here to here. But if you like something that's a little bit extra, a little bit on top, then you can customize this to how you want this to look. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and extrude that little piece. And that one's also going to be a mid-plane extrusion. And it's only going to be a real small one anywhere between 0 0.01 and 0 0.03 and then go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice we have a little thin ribbing. Now the difference is going to be up to you how you want this to look thinner or thicker. Personal choice. Once you're happy with that go ahead and save it Make sure to save that in your home drive, and you can move along to the next one. Congratulations on finishing that, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.